Have you ever wondered what makes a TV series stand the test of time and become an enduring symbol of the industry? The 1957 TV series Have Gun Will Travel is one such classic that has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Its timeless appeal and lasting impact continue to captivate audiences even today. In this brief exploration, we'll delve into what qualities have made this show an everlasting icon and invite you to share your cherished memories and personal experiences with it. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Have Gun Will Travel is a Western drama that aired during the late 1950s and early 1960s, set in the post-Civil War era. It followed the adventures of Paladin, a gunfighter for hire who navigated the moral complexities of the Old West. The show's enduring qualities, which have solidified its place in television history, include compelling storytelling, memorable characters, and thought-provoking themes. Its portrayal of moral dilemmas and the ever-present question of right versus wrong resonate with viewers across generations. The series also broke ground by exploring deep character development and challenging social norms of the time. It tackled issues like racism, class struggle, and the consequences of violence, making it a groundbreaking show in its era. Furthermore, Richard Boone's portrayal of Paladin was a performance for the ages, leaving a lasting imprint on the industry. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Have Gun, Will Travel. Your stories add to the rich tapestry of its legacy and help keep the spirit of this iconic series alive. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Have Gun Will Travel, a 1957 TV series, revolves around Paladin, a sophisticated and enigmatic gunslinger portrayed by Richard Boone. Originating from a popular radio show of the same name, the series follows Paladin, a cultured mercenary who operates out of San Francisco and takes on assignments as a knight for hire. Combining Old West action with moral dilemmas, the show stands out for its unique blend of a strong, principled character and the fast-draw world of the Wild West. With Paladin's calling card featuring his emblem and the famous phrase have gun will travel, the series explored themes of honor, justice, and the complexities of right and wrong. It had a lasting impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent westerns, and leaving a memorable mark on the genre. Have Gun Will Travel remains a classic in the world of television, admired for its intriguing characters and thought-provoking narratives, exemplifying the enduring appeal of western dramas. Paladin's business card reads, Have Gun Will Travel. Wire Paladin, San Francisco. This is printed over the silhouette of a knight chess piece. This iconic calling card symbolizes the core of the 1957 TV series Have Gun, Will Travel. Originally, the show was intended to be a private investigator series, not a western. However, it evolved into something unique, blending Old West action with moral dilemmas. Interestingly, a legal battle also surrounded the show, as a man named Victor Da Costa sued CBS for appropriating his character without consent, a dispute that lasted for 30 years. The final verdict came in 1991, long after Da Costa had passed away at the age of 83. This card and the legal dispute are intriguing aspects of a series that has left a lasting impact on the world of television, making Have Gun Will Travel a classic in its own right. Have Gun Will Travel, the 1957 TV series, holds a unique place in television history. It's not widely known but it's a fact that the show had some surprising connections and interesting quirks. For instance, in season one, episode 11, titled The Colonel and The Lady, some scenes were filmed on sets originally used for another iconic Western series, Gunsmoke. The Long Branch Saloon, familiar to Gunsmoke fans, was minimally redecorated to stand in for a saloon visited by Paladin in a Nevada mining town. Even shots of people walking the streets of the town were borrowed from Gunsmoke. This connection to another classic series adds an extra layer of history to Have Gun, Will Travel. While many TV series are adapted from radio shows, Have Gun, Will Travel took a different path. The radio show with John Daner as Paladin actually came after the television series. This reversal of the usual adaptation process is a noteworthy aspect of the show's history. And there's a little-known anecdote that adds a touch of intrigue to the personal lives of the stars. According to Maureen O'Hara's autobiography, Tis Herself, 
Richard Boone, and Peter Lawford, who portrayed characters in the series, allegedly had a brush with the law in a gay brothel during the making of the film Kangaroo in 1952. O'Hara claims that the 20th Century Fox studio managed to keep this incident out of the press. This anecdote, found in O'Hara's book, adds an unexpected layer to the lives of the actors involved in Have Gun, Will Travel. These lesser-known facts about the show, including its ties to Gunsmoke, its unusual adaptation history, and the intriguing personal anecdotes of its stars, provide a fresh perspective on the 1957 TV series Have Gun, Will Travel. Paladin's name was never revealed in the television or radio series. There were three Have Gun, Will Travel novels. In one of them, Paladin was called Clay Alexander. Wire Paladin is a telegraph address listed on the card just as businesses list their telephone numbers and email addresses in the 21st century. Paladin's mailing address at the Hotel Carlton was also listed on the card. In the 19th century, there were only two means of long distance contact, mail and wire. Some fans mistakenly believed that Wire was Paladin's first name. The mystery surrounding Paladin's true identity is a defining aspect of the 1957 TV series Have Gun, Will Travel. Throughout the show's run, his real name remains a well-guarded secret. This enigmatic character is known by his alias, Paladin, a name derived from a knight's coat of honor. In the series, he operates as a cultured mercenary for hire, solving problems and addressing injustices with a sense of chivalry. Paladin's unique calling card, featuring the silhouette of a knight chess piece, not only symbolizes his self-image as a modern-day knight errant, but also reflects his interest in playing chess. This intriguing detail adds depth to his character, emphasizing his commitment to righting wrongs in the Old West. While the character's true name remains shrouded in mystery on screen, it's worth noting that in one of the show's novels, he was named Clay Alexander. This discrepancy adds an extra layer of intrigue for fans who delved into the extended universe of Have Gun, Will Travel. Paladin's use of Wire Paladin as a telegraph address on his card also highlights the historical context of long-distance communication in the 19th century, where mail and telegraph were the primary means of contact. This fact about Paladin's undisclosed real name, his chess-inspired imagery, and the alternative name from the novels all contribute to the multifaceted character of Paladin, and the enduring appeal of Have Gun, Will Travel. As we ride off into the sunset, the timeless allure of the 1957 TV series, Have Gun, Will Travel, lingers like a cherished memory. It beckons us to reflect on our personal connection with this iconic show, a journey into the rugged yet principled world of Paladin. In each episode, we witnessed the enigmatic paladin, a man of intellect and action, navigating the complexities of morality and justice in the Wild West. The show's unforgettable characters, evocative storytelling, and the hauntingly evocative ballad of its opening theme have etched their indelible marks in the annals of television history. But what's your tale of connection with Have Gun, Will Travel? Perhaps it's the first time you stumbled upon an episode and found yourself spellbound by the charm and wisdom of Paladin. Or maybe you recall family gatherings huddled around the TV as you and your loved ones embarked on thrilling adventures in the Old West. So saddle up your memories and ride with us into the comments section below. Share your favorite moments, characters, or the valuable life lessons you've gleaned from this remarkable show. Let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Have Gun, We'll Travel Together. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and memories and for taking this journey with us. Your engagement keeps the spirit of Paladin alive in the hearts of generations old and new. Until we meet again, remember that the pen is mightier than the sword, and your words have the power to transport us back to those dusty trails of the Wild West.